Hi, everybody. We're back again. Um, still looking at uh, the Tesla. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to be diving underneath this wheel well. And the reason for that is because we want to have a look at the, uh, the front rail structure um, and specifically the SORB. So this is for the small offset. And what we're going to do is I'm going to get out of the way. And we're going to have a look at a few of the things that we found out. Number one, let's look right here. And we're looking at uh, three millimeters of, uh, of iron that, uh, that they've uh, thickened up this area quite a bit. So the front structure looks a lot different than what we remember uh, in the Model 3. If we have a look at this, <clears throat> and we have a look down here, this is the, uh, this is the uh, cradle, the front cradle. And you can see that the two of them are tied together. Now what we're looking at is that 25% that we have to have in order to make uh, the correct uh, the, uh, the the correct amount of intrusion for the um, uh, for the sorb test. So these two things here, these are pretty strong. But look up here where it says tusk. We're looking at that like an elephant tusk. And as the event starts to occur, that uh, that tusk is going to fold in and it's going to smash into the longitudinals and probably other things. And that's going to start the the event. Uh, or start to put the uh, energy from the event into the structure here that is uber strong. This is very, very, very uh, different than what we saw on the Model 3. The Model 3 didn't have uh, anything quite the same as that. So have a look down here. <clears throat> and um, you can see this, uh, this is a capped, uh, a capped uh, 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 connector. And uh, that's for the uh, European, uh, the European rules for, uh, for making uh, pedestrian noise. That, uh, that cap, that cap product would go uh, into a speaker that would be mounted here in the uh, front air deflector. <clears throat> now, as we look at this, the one thing we want to also show is that, again, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at that cor corrugated convolute that goes over the top. Kind of expensive, but, uh, but uh, they know for sure that they're not going to get any sort of abrasion or what have you there. So these are two good things. Let's have a look at, um, <clears throat> have a look up here. This is the side marker and also a camera. So uh, the side marker and camera uh, is similar to the one that we saw in the, uh, in the Model 3. If we look down here on the uh, Model 3 fender, you can see how this snaps in place. Right here is the uh, outside cut. And, uh, and that would be snapping in from the other side. Um, it's not that much different than what we saw before, but we do like the snap-in features. Now, let's look down here <coughs> for one of the things that I, I kind of think are cute. Um, what they did was the, um, they, they take in the uh, retention screw for the, uh, for the, for the brakes, and, and they put it it's external instead of internal. Anybody who's had to change one of these things knows that uh, if you have an internal um, hex head, uh, or sorry, internal hex into, uh, into the uh, clamp, you'll see that uh, it fills up with rust and it's nasty. It's near impossible to get off. But what they've done is they've, they've put an external, uh, an external bolt in there, which I kind of like. But on top of that, you can see if you, I don't know if you can get a sh close shot here, but you can see the witness marks, the witness marks from the, uh, from the aluminum. And, and you'd say, well, wait a minute, you can't do that because usually uh, this has got a flat surface here. But what Tesla's done is they've, they've made it so that they've got bosses that they machine. So <clears throat> here's, the, uh, here's where, let's say, the, uh, the, the hex head bolt would be showing up and, uh, and the rest of it you know, is wide open. So getting at that hex head bolt at a, at a later time is a good idea. It's external and it'll make things much, much easier. So, so anyway, I like this as a cool idea because this means you're not going to be able to just take any old rim and put it in place. Or sorry, uh, a, uh, a rim, yeah. So you're not going to be able to just put anything in here. You're going to only have uh, Tesla uh, products that are going to fit on top. By the way, we also found markings on the, uh, on the uh, uh, brake that say Bembro. So we kind of know that it's a Brembo, Brembro brake but it's been machined off with the Tesla markings on it. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll, be, uh, <clears throat> we'll be doing more of this. 
And again, uh, I, I think that it's a cool idea if we all start uh, tipping the cashiers. And if they don't have a, a place to tip, uh, bring a coffee can or something and put it down and start throwing money in it. These guys are risking their lives. Let's say thank you. And by the way, thank you.